we are going to be forcing TikTok streamers to make us a Mad Lib, whether they like it or not. As seen on screen, I have this Mad Lib sheet. So the first thing I need is a plural noun. As soon as I hear one, inserted. Boom. No matter what. And you guys know the deal. Subscribe if you're smart. Let's get into it. I need a plural noun. Go on, say anything. Don't mash your keys. I'd just appreciate it if you said like any word. Holding someone. What? Amazon's partially closed in Canada right now. Well, my location because there's so much COVID cases. So my ring light. Cases. Um, cases. Cases. That's our first word. Next up, we need an occupation. Ooh, that could be tough. This one says education, so maybe we can get an occupation over there somehow. It's ended. Okay. Dude, I hate that filter you put. Like, I, I look thin and then I go out and then I come back and it's like, ooh. Like, you have like the thinner on us, no? Hold on. The chin. Yeah. My chin looks thin. Do you think I could count that? So can I say a uh, chin thinner as a job? Would that work? Yes, I'm down. Yes? Alright. Thank you. Chin thinner. Wow, you cannot read what that says. Now we need a place. We you need a place, location, okay. playgrounds, so uh, New York. Right now, really, it can be either of those. Uh, I just, I gotta step in. What's the best place in the world? What's the best place in the world? Yes. Big question. That just depends on certain things. For me, I think it's thanks for the follow, Anna. I think it's um, South Africa is stunning. Boom. Philippines is stunning. Oh. Toronto's great. Okay. Many options as well. I'm gonna go with the first one he said. South Africa. Africa. Holy cow, my handwriting, so, so good. Now we need a number, all right. Like sometimes I'll be like, guess how old I am? And someone's like, 12. What kind of wig is that? Um, the brand is called uh... Wait, she said 12. I just realized she said 12. Easy. Okay, we need an adjective now. I bet we'll get this really quickly. You don't see like any other features, my eyebrows, my eyes, Describe you just them. see my teeth. Describe those features. Sir, is this like a hate crime thing? Mm -mm. Like, I'm not really sure. No, I just I don't know mean if you're trying to be funny or actually trying to be like offensive now. You no. called me dark human. I dark. <gasps> okay, well, okay, you guys have to understand the context. I didn't just scream dark when I saw. He said. Okay, don't, please, you know, dark. That's our adjective. Dark. Verb ending in ing. This one will be tough. Now I'm in the process of dealing my own shadow work. Dealing! Okay. Thank you, Grandma. We we got the verb. Dealing. Plural noun. I just realized every light is different in this house. Mm hmm Just about, except for the bathrooms. Bathrooms! So easy. Oh, this game's too easy, man. Bath rooms. Now we need another place. That's tough. Wait, this guy this guy in the comments gonna clutch up. You see this? Read it out loud. No, that's not what we want. This one has Ottawa in the title, so I'm guessing he'll talk about me. What's the best place in the world? Not what I expected. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm out. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Change and then show you. Where are you going? We still need a place. Watch, we're about to get a place. Kentucky. Easy. Kentucky. Now we need another adjective. Adjective is probably the easiest one to get. Give me an adjective. Oh, yes. Long blonde. Long? Sweet, thanks. Plural noun. Shouldn't be too hard. We need a plural noun. What am I supposed to do? Give me a plural noun. That's all you have to do. Getting frustrated now. Well, it's not that hard, so. Okay, can I go back? I miss my little cone friend. Well, are you sure there's not like multiple of them? Maybe cone friends? This is gonna be a very long stream. I can see it now. Okay. I actually have no idea what the heck I'm supposed to do here. Oh, so all you have to do is actually say a plural noun. I feel like this has to do with something. Can I pick you up and bring you to the other side? I would not want that, no. Can I light you on fire? Well. Is that the secret here? Let's not, please. No. No. Okay, so what I need- No, from... no, okay. Sorry, this, I have the whole welcome to the chat rude. room and it all reloaded. And actually, Kakihara, yeah, can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Uh, I can actually tell you right now, so- Because I'm, I'm honestly lost. 
Unless so, it's just glitching out. Okay, I'm gonna go do my homework. Am I allowed to leave? My fire games, you're allowed to do whatever you want. Games, you I heard games. Oh, that was tough. <laughs> we got there. Games. Thank you, thank you. Oh, now this is the toughest one probably. Verb ending in I-N-G. Let's do this guy. He's a writer, father, and a husband. I like this guy. Uh, yeah. His title's actually chilling. So most he almost got it right with the title. I said, what's the best verb ending in I-N-G? I think he'll answer it. Best verb. You tell me. No, you tell me. No, that's what I said to you. You tell me. You no, can't, that's what you I can't said. answer a question with a question. You just no? did that. I, I answered with a question, so you can't double down. I know you're going to tell me. Timing? <laughs> I'll take it from that guy. Yeah. Thanks, Vsauce. We need a plural noun now. Like, I didn't go right, I didn't go back right away. Right. People don't say a lot of verbs. That's not, I'm not, I'm not looking for a verb. People don't say a lot of words ending with S. And it ended. All right. Thank you, Raven. ASMR. I respect the craft. I did that in my last video. I know all about ASMR. Hey, got back to it. Okay, stop. Yeah, I'm pretty good. It's really nice. Thank you, Sh Chandler's, Chandler's, Slater. She said Chandler's. That counts. Chandler's. Okay, we need adjective. That should be an easy clap. More ASMR. Chandler's. This is the wrong language. Too loud? Or am I okay? Okay. This will be my last technical check. Technical. Easy. Adjective is way too easy. Tech-ni-cal. Oh, we only have five left. We're almost there. We need a noun now. All right, Zerdor, give me a noun. Okay. Mapels. How's it going? All right. You, you know what I'm saying. Yes, I have had chicken biryani. I love it. Chicken biryani? Is that what he said? I gotta look that up. Chicken biryani. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Four left. That's two. That's two. <laughs> we need a part of the body now. This one's gonna be really hard to get. Catch for catch. I'm gonna ask him if he's ever broken a bone. Have you ever broken a bone? Oh, yeah, definitely have broken bones. How about you? He said. Broke my nose, broke my leg. Nose. That's the first one. There you go. Nose. That's cool. Christians. But what I mean by I don't like Christians is that I don't like Christians who push their beliefs onto other people who are clearly not wanting their beliefs, you know? Anyway, God bless. And I hope you have a mighty week. Thank you. I heard bless. I heard God bless. So that's nice. Bless. Adjective. Give me two minutes. All right. Now let's see. Uh, all right. This is explosive chicken. Let's go. Explosive. And I got a Okay, last one. Of course, we have to finish it off with a part of the body. So, the classic yeah, question. Ever broken any bones? Pretty too many bones, I'll tell you. Like uh, I broke my left arm. Yes. Oh, sorry. Four times. My right arm once. Sorry about nose, that. Nose, fingers. But that's the last one we needed for it. That's the last one we needed. And it's time to read off the story. Let's do it. Hello, my fellow cases. In 2020, it's me. George Washington, the first chin thinner. What does it say? <laughs> what does it say? Oh no, what does it say? <clears throat> Hello, my fellow cases in 2020. It's me, George Washington, the first chin thinner. I am writing from South Africa, where I have been secretly living for the past 12 years. I am concerned by the dark state of affairs in America these days. It seems that your politicians are more concerned with dealing one another than listening to the bathrooms of the people. When we declared our independence from Kentucky, we set forth on a long path guided by the voices of the everyday games. If we're going to keep timing, then we need to learn how to respect all chickens. If we're going to keep timing, then we need to learn how to respect all Chandlers. Don't get me wrong, we had technical problems in my day too. Benjamin Franklin once called me a chicken biryani and kicked me in the nose. 
but at the end of the day, we were able to bless in harmony. Let us find that explosive spirit once again, or else I'm taking my left arm off the quarter. Thank you, George.